Speaker, uh, since the uh, Premier is in uh, calling with today, I'm going to ask the Minister of Transportation about uh, Highway 26. The member knows full well he's not supposed to make that kind of reference, and I would ask him not to do it again. Carry on. Uh, <clears throat> Okay, speaker, by not completing the five-laning of uh, Highway 26 at the east end of Collingwood, the province is holding up job creation and economic development. If this section of highway was completed, the town could extend Sir Sanford Fleming Drive to Highway 26, a move that would spur significant commercial development in the area. This issue with the highway has been unresolved now for over a decade, and that's totally unacceptable. I've written the minister on several occasions about this matter, but apparently common courtesy it's gone out the window because I can't get a response. This government has failed to do its job, Mr. Speaker. So I ask, when will the minister commit to finishing this section of Highway 26, and will he state when the work will take place? Good job. Good job. Thank you, Mr. President. I thank, thanks very much, Speaker. Thanks, I, uh, I thank the member opposite for his question. Um, I think he and I have chatted about this, perhaps informally. Uh, I'm aware of the, uh, the challenges around Highway 26 in the Collingwood area. In fact, Speaker, I've had the opportunity to meet. Uh, with uh, with the mayor and with so municipal staff the in the past uh, regarding this particular stretch of highway. I know that MTO has also been working closely with the municipality, and I understand the challenge, uh, but it's a challenge that goes beyond Collingwood Speaker. As that member may be aware, uh, prior to 2003, for many, many years, there was chronic underinvestment in infrastructure in every corner of this province, and that means that since 2003, in particular in the last four years, we are playing both catch-up and keep-up. Uh, I'm happy to respond with additional information in the follow-up question, but I do appreciate the member's advocacy. Thank you. Thank you. Supplementary. Well, Mr. Speaker, thank the minister, but the history of this was uh, during our last two years in office, we started the realignment of Highway 26. Uh, within a month of coming to office in 2003, you took the bulldozers off the highway. They remained off the highway for over a decade. Finally, when Donna Cansfield came along, mainly because she had a place up in Collingwood, she put the bulldozers back on. and you. You got most of the realignment done, but you failed to do the section at the east end of Collingwood that goes into Collingwood. It remains, it doesn't look very nice for tourists coming into the, to the gateway of the Georgian Triangle. And, uh, and there's a number of jobs held up, out some 70 jobs with various businesses uh, that want to move forward. Uh, their properties are frozen right now by your ministry. Uh, they can't move forward. It's a bit of an eyesore. It's uh, the council and mayor, as you know, uh, uh, Mr. Speaker, Question. and the minister, are at wit's end. There's a, there's a culvert or a bridge that's falling down. Your ministry said, get some boards in there to prop it up. It's going to cave in. Someone's going to get hurt. Thank you. And uh, you've, it's unfinished bit. Thank you. Can you please? Can you it, please? Minister. Thanks very much, Speaker. I thank the member for the follow-up question. Stand, stand. As, I, as I mentioned in my first answer, I'm aware of the challenge. The ministry will continue to work with that community, and I have an expectation, not only in Collingwood but in every corner of Ontario, we will continue to make sure that shovels are in the ground, that they stay in the ground, and that we can keep building, Speaker. But it is interesting to note from the heckles coming on the other side of the House, Speaker, there are members on that side who have literally been talking to me for close to three years to demand that we spend more, ironically, only in their riding, Speaker. And every single year for those three years, those members, including the one asking that question, have voted consistently against the budgets from this side of the House that are building this province up, Speaker. In just a few weeks, we're sure the Minister of Finance will stand up and deliver another budget that will dedicate billions towards highway construction and expansions. I sincerely hope that member and his team finally support our budgets to build their communities up as well as ours. Thanks very much. Speaker.